please stand as we begin chapel. We'll begin as we do always in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. God the Father, God the Father, God the Son, God the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit. Three and one, three and one, come and worship, come and worship. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, sing and pray and praise Him. Sing and pray and praise Him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Baptismal celebrations right here at St. Paul, it's an amazing thing because it doesn't matter what shape and size you are, how young or old you are, the promise is for you and your household to be able to know that Jesus loves you, that Jesus died for you, that Jesus continues to walk with you. And that's the neat thing about our baptismal font at St. Paul. Um, within the St. Paul, you see uh, short, tall, and being able to see, but it's all under the flame of the Holy Spirit, the representation of God as the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit comes to us in our baptisms. And how beautiful that is, a promise that is made to all people. No matter how young or old, it is Jesus with you. I get to celebrate in March my baptismal birthday, March 13th. And it was laid off a week because my mom was sick. And it doesn't matter about who was involved or who wasn't involved. It matters that these things were said to you. That you are loved in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now please join us as we sing our opening song, Love in a Box.
to get rest time. And this is story time. Jesus spent three years traveling around talking and teaching people about the kingdom of God. He spoke to little children, like the time when he called them to him. There were many children that were coming, but the disciples said, Stop. We have to go, the children go away. Jesus is too busy. But Jesus said, Come to over to us. And the children went to be with Jesus. And Jesus blessed them. He spoke to large groups of people, like the time when he fed 5,000 people with just two fish and five loaves of bread. He spoke to sick people and made them well. Jesus, help us! Jesus, help us! Go to the priest and you'll get better. Is that better? We're healed. We're all better. We're all better. Yet there was a time when Jesus was silent. As it says in our Bible verse in Isaiah 53, verse 7, He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. We are in the fourth week of Lent. In just a few weeks, we will once again hear the story of Good Friday and Jesus being crucified on the cross. During that time, people were telling lies about Jesus, but he was silent. When Pontius Pilate questioned Jesus about who he was, he remained silent. I, I get the king of the Jews. Then they accused Jesus of many things, but he did not answer. Jesus would go quietly to the cross. The scene on Calvary's hill was most likely noisy and chaotic. There was the noise of the hammers. Soldiers were shouting directions. Many people were yelling, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! And there were the cries and tears from those who loved Jesus. <laughs> Jesus patiently and silently hung on the cross to be the sacrifice for the sins of the world. Jesus only spoke seven times on the cross, and his words were carefully and divinely chosen. Finally, Jesus broke the silence with the announcement, It is finished. Then Jesus was silent again. He was silent in death. The sacrifice was completed once and forever. The Lenten season is a time for some silence. We silently think about and confess our sins, which put Jesus on the cross. We meditate quietly on all that Jesus experienced for us. We pray silently, giving thanks to Jesus for his death for us. We have lots of time to talk with our friends, to listen to music, to cheer for our favorite team, and to experience the noise and activity in our lives. The Lenten season and the reflection on Jesus' passion is also a time to be respectfully and reverently quiet. But now it's a time to sing. So let's stand up and join us as we sing, Do You Know Who Died For Me?
join me in prayer. Dear Jesus, we thank you for coming to this earth. We thank you for teaching us that there are times where we can talk and teach others, but there are times where we need to be quiet. We thank you for dying on the cross to take away our sins and coming alive again on that first Easter morning. And Lord, we pray that you would be with us during this Lenten season and guide us as we learn to be quiet and listen to your voice. In your name we pray, amen. Hey everyone, this month our offerings are going towards our brothers and sisters in Christ in Texas. Texas, yes, almost on the same latitudinal line, uh, but being able to say they experienced an incredible winter um, just months ago. And uh, they had water in their house, they had a lot of damage with their pipes in their house and all those kind of things. Um, and it just was unbeknownst to them. So we get to step in, we get to be generous. Um, that's one of the incredible marks of the church uh, that we get to be generous to them. Give of our offerings for the people who can help in Texas. Now please join us in our closing song, He Hung Upon a Cross. bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and give you his peace. Go in peace and serve the Lord. <laughs>